Well, we at um, the Trinity Calf. And what I just heard this morning is they've been doing this for a few years, um, feeding the homeless, helping people on a daily day basis. And the person that I need to contact is Miss Anita. Miss Anita is the one who um, they say know what's going on with this right here. So this is the line that we have this morning. And um, basically you can see there's a lot of people out here every morning looking for food, um, places to shower, um, uh, uh, medical help, whatever is needed, I guess this place um, provides. So what are they doing here? They feed, uh, I don't know about all the organizations that they got going on, but I know about the brigade for Metropolitan. They helping people, you buy a Flamingo car for $3 and they'll load it for you for the month. What it is? A uh, Flamingo car for the Heartline bus. They'll load it if you're homeless and ain't got the money. If you buy a Flamingo car, then they'll put money on it for the month for you. All right, and that's very helpful for you guys that's, that need to get transportation. Yeah, because I just had to spend thirty-one fifty for two 31-day bus sessions for me and my lady to get where we got to go to try to get help. Mm -hmm. And we're going to a place called The Cove here in Tampa, Old Daco. And they got a shelter and they got bed. They say they got bed spaces to help the homeless. So we're going out there to see what they can do because she got health problems and I got a heart condition. I can't be out here like this. And we've been out here almost a year with no help. Mm -hmm. what's, what, what's your name and how old you are? My name is Eugene Vanoski and I just turned 52 on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And my lady's 51. And you say y'all been homeless now going on a year? What you, what you was doing, let's say, five years ago, what were you doing then? We had a place. And she lost it because we called code enforcement on the landlord. And he didn't like that. He was a slumlord anyway. I go and pay another gentleman because my cousin said he got a nice trailer and everything. Electric cook from a extension cord from his house to the trailer. Went and fixed none. It was cold in there. Me and her almost got electrocuted with the plug that he had in the trailer for the electric. And I got a lawsuit going against him, like code enforcement told me, because he wouldn't let us get our stuff. And everywhere we go, we can't get the help to get off the streets. Mm -hmm. And we're trying our best. And it's hard out here, especially when you're sick. And people that know me that have homes, they telling me they seen that my health is going down further because I got a heart condition. I had open heart surgery and a pacemaker, but these organizations not helping. Do you get off um, social security? I get disability, but I only get eight something a month. And I'm trying to take care of two people until she gets her disability because she has rheumatoid arthritis and can't work. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do the best I can to take care of two of us. Right, and they're right. going in, so I'm going to go in with her to eat. All right. That's my lady right there. Okay. Uh -huh. And I told him what we're doing. He asked about what they do here. All I know is about the brigade, but they, the lady told him to talk to the lady sit down in the front. What her name again? Miss Anita? Anita, yes. All right, that's what they said. I'm um, going to talk to her. Y'all want to introduce me to her. I introduce myself to her. So this is like every day they do this? Yeah, every Monday day. through Saturday. And would they allow y'all to come in like? Anita is the one sitting right there with the red hat on. Darlene and Gator. Darlene and Gator, can you, can you tell me what's, what this program is about and what it does for the community? This is a, a feeding Tampa Bay. And now uh, we offer a free meal to be homeless. And um, we have other resources but the resources are 
um, the health care, and so um, are the metropolitan ministries, which offer uh, assistance with uh, uh, vouchers for transportation as well as uh, IDs. Um, what do you think? Some of like, what's the problem that most of these people face every day? No, don't say some. Um, the problem, well, most of these uh, people face would be um, hardship with uh, drug addiction and um, and housing. Housing is a big problem simply because of the. the high cost of uh, uh, rent. Um, there are, we don't have um, sources with um, low, low income rent. Uh, those sources went away once uh, 22 came, the year 2022, when uh, the housing went up so very high. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of the landlords now want market rent. And market rent is um, Florida as Tampa. We, we, our income is not as high as uh, the market rent that the landlords want to receive. And that's our problem. So a lot of us are left homeless and on the street. Right, because a lot of them say they get Social Security and checks, yeah. but they, they still you don't have enough money. Number, correct, because of the market rent. Because even though uh, Section 8 exists, um, maybe that Section 8 voucher is for $1,000, but a landlord might want 1500 for the uh, resident, and many of them want 1700 for, uh, uh, and then the voucher is 1000 so, and, and right now, a lot of the landlords are requesting that you have a job. So you wouldn't even qualify for a, an apartment if you just have a Section 8 and, and no income. I mean, not no income, but no, no job. So you, you, uh, you, you are faced to live on the street because of not being uh, a, a job secure. Right, right, right. Do you think uh, you see more young people homeless? Now? Oh, most definitely you do. And and the and this uh, facility, I see more people that are coming here, and and they are very young, and and uh, they they seem like they read out of right out of school. I can't understand how many people that are here. And I, I want to ask you, where are the parents? Because they don't, it seems like they, they, they are too young to be on the street. And what are the resources for, for them? Right, right, right. I see a lot of them 22, 25. Yeah, well, where, where are the, the covenant houses here in Tampa? Because uh, these people are way too young to, I, I, I have, uh, they want to sleep on this property. And that's uh, that's a no no. We have a, a no trespass no trespass ordinance uh, in progress, so we don't we don't allow uh, here because Feet and Tampa Bay leased this property from uh, the First Church of God, so we don't we don't want the uh, we don't want to jeopardize our lease by our clients our guests sleeping on uh, the property and a lot of times I'll awaken uh, the people the guests uh, 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 sleeping on the property because once we feed them they don't have no other place to go right, typically what type of what y'all feed them on every day we feed them a full course hot meal mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's uh, uh, vegetables a uh, meat bread and butter uh, 
and um, it's it's a full a full full course hot meal, uh, orange, uh, uh, fruit, uh, um, tea, um, lemonade, water, the whole the whole the whole course. Hot meal every day. Every day, once a day. Once a day, yeah. This is a once a day program. Um, of uh, the program over in um, Nebraska, T1, they they seven days. This this facility six days because the church used a facility on Sunday. That's the only reason why we are not seven days. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are they able to take showers here? We provide a uh, um a, a company that comes here shower up. They come here once a month. At, um, I think it's uh, the last Saturday of the month and uh, they provide showers to any of our guests that want to bathe. The, sh the showers are 15 minutes long and they stay here for as long as uh, the uh, guests want showers. I think the last time that they were here uh, 19 people took a shower. Uh, for, for my research, I, like you say, with, with the young people, most of them are hooked on this drug called Molly. And um, I, me, myself, I'm just wondering why the news or why the media is not talking about this drug that all these young people are getting on, causing them just to hang out in the street all day. It's something that I'm like, cause I know when crack came in the eighties, it was all I, over I the don't, news. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that. Um, I don't, I don't think it's a priority. I really don't think it's a priority, and I think that uh, it's not a priority because it's not, it's not that cup. Right. If it was the right color, it would be on the news. <laughs> right, right, right. Because I just admit, it's just, yeah. just too young. I mean, I run yeah, Boston, they, they 22, yeah. and they just on the side. I'm like, yeah, uh huh. 22? Yeah. yeah. You should have a job. You should yeah, yeah. 22 with kids. You at should, home. you should, you should see the people in line. It, it's baffling. I, well, and, uh, and I promise you, they are so untrained. It, it's almost like they don't, they don't forgotten uh, all their parents have taught them. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. They do, they do a lot of things that. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's they, just, it's yeah, different. That, yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, no, no home training at all. Right. It, it it seems to me that they have forgotten everything that they were taught from the beginning. In the beginning, mm -hmm. forgotten. Right, right. How right, to flush right. the stool? How to clean up behind themselves? How to pick up behind themselves? Right, right, right. Yeah. I see whole families out here now. I'm like, man, it's, it's young families too, and just yeah. it's sad. What you think the city can do to kind of help this situation out? Get involved. Mm -hmm. Um, participate. Budget. So you um, do you think the city could provide shelters or provide places for these people? You know, they listen. They have a um, a program. It's called Tent City. Mm -hmm. I seen it. Yes. The what's wrong with Tent City is rules and regulations. A lot of people don't want to be in Tent City because they don't want rules and regulations. regulations. Yeah, that's what's the problem. That's the problem. Of but you gotta have rules, rules and, regulations. and regulations. That's that's what that's what the name of the game is. I don't want no rules. I don't want to be ruled. I just want to be myself. I just I want I just I just want to be in the world. I don't, I don't want, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to work, I don't want to do anything, I just want to be free of all responsibilities for me. But that's not how it is, um, no. nature has rules and regulations. Hey, listen, life has rules and regulations, and you, sh and, and you should want rules and regulations because 
That's what living is all about. All right. Thank you for your time. You are welcome. All right. Yeah, but I might make the whole house a complete home. It's following the rules and regulations of living with somebody. Y'all take it easy. You know the thing that you ain't supposed to do, and you know the thing that you're supposed to do. All right, so we just had a good meeting.